So once uh, the execution has completed, you would notice the two result uh, sheets that I've uh, generated. Uh, we have not yet completed the portion where the test cases uh, are also having the result, depending on how many test steps have uh, succeeded or failed. But that would be tweaking the code a little bit further. Uh, but primarily, once you go dig deeper into each test case, you would see if uh, any of the test steps fail. For example, the login uh, logout for the first test data, the TD001, uh, it was success. So we saw no error, no error, logged in successfully, no error, no error. Uh, and the same for the remaining two test cases as well. So logged in successfully present uh, for the check the number of followers. So these uh, worked fine for the first test data. Uh, the reason being I gave the right information for it. But when I didn't give the right uh, information for login, you would notice that the errors would change. So the verify sign in said login failed. This results, this particular column uh, gets populated directly from your QTP. And uh, yes, error cannot identify. So there was no sign out button because you've not logged in. Login failed, uh, yes error, not present, yes error. So each error got captured. Uh, for example, they cannot identify the object link of class link. Instead of throwing this error at runtime, uh, it QTP captures it using the on and resume next. Uh, and it gives us the flexibility then to put it back into our test results or upload it into the Excel file here. Thank you so much for your time. I uh, hope this short video gave you an idea of uh, the kind of exercises that are performed and how a hybrid framework can be developed uh, which does both data driven and keyword driven. Uh, for any further questions uh, or queries, you can feel free to contact me at uh, qtb.elearn at gmail.com or call me at 314-827-5272. Thank you and have a great day.